thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today is another segment of my what I'm liking and not so much. And I also have a special guest. So if you would like to see what I'm liking and maybe not so much, keep on watching. Okay, so today I'm not feeling so, I had to quickly get myself organized and ready and I'm not liking my hair, I'm just not liking, it's like one of them days where I feel like, you know, it's just a bad hair day, bad makeup day, all that kind of stuff, um, but uh, I did uh, have to go to my daughter's house and watch uh, my little granddaughter for a while, she had a doctor's appointment, it was kind of an all of a sudden thing, so I was rushing short to do that and I wanted to come home and wanted to get this filmed real quick so I was like rushing around and really have time to do much of anything to myself <laughs> just flap on a little bit of makeup and well like some makeup of course you know and just go with the flow so anyway my special guest is Yolanda she has a channel on here um, that's called bombshell beauty I have known her for a very very long time I've actually known her since probably my first even starting to do YouTube itself having my channel and everything she does I I, I feel like you know like because I know several of you guys really like the old glam kind of a thing and she does love that she actually does looks for like the old glam she likes the style she likes the clothing she, she just loves everything about the old style glam and the like uh, pinup kind of girls and all those kind of things and um i don't she's just she's really fun to watch on that perspective because i don't have very many that i do get to watch that maybe style their hair the way they used to then you know or something and she she that's her lifestyle that's what she really likes to wear and that's that's her you know and she's a very beautiful girl and she's very um very nice uh person too so i am going to have a link to hers down below please go check her out and show her some love and maybe subscribe if you like um i think you guys will really like her i think she'll she she will fit in really well with the rest of us so i'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the products that um i'm liking and then um actually i don't think i even have anything here that i'm not liking I don't even have a not so much so like i always say that's a good thing so um hair care we'll go right into hair care so for hair care i used this up actually too it's um ogx bamboo fiber full uh this is the conditioner i had the shampoo and conditioner i really liked um these i wasn't sure if i was going to because they are fiber full so it's supposed to discover plump looking uh tresses uh, it's fortified blend with bamboo fibers and soy proteins. I don't know. It says for strands that appear to have volume, uh, voluptuous body and fullness. I, I just, I thought maybe it wasn't going to work for me too well, but it actually really did. And I did like the shampoo and conditioner. Um, I guess the not so much, I don't have them here. I gave them to my daughter. So I guess it could be considered not so much. I didn't so much like the I think there was like a styling cream with this and then also where you spray to your scalp and it's supposed to uh, volumize and plump up and do all that. I didn't notice anything with any of that stuff, but I do have full hair. This worked for me, whether I'd repurchase it, probably not because my favorite still is the coconut curl shampoo, but it is nice. It is a good shampoo and conditioner. So that's why I'm letting you guys know I did like it. And you know, maybe it's something you guys might want to check out. The next item I have here is from the Proganics. This is the, it's still from OGX, but it's their pro line. I believe from what I understand, this is the quench moisture balm, uh, nourish. And this is supposed to help um, kind of give your hair some hydration, a little extra uh, hydration, softness, and all those kind of things. And it did work for me, so I did like it. Um, again, would I repurchase it? Probably not, because there's like certain ones I am more prone to from these lines. The Proganics, I'll be honest, I'll, I'll be honest with the Proganics, I don't know if I'm but it's, I, I don't know if it's something I would repurchase from them. Like any any of the products really have stood out to me majorly. Like I've liked some of the products they've sent me, but I don't know if it's, there's anything that really stands out to me, um, such as, like I said, the OGX, the Coconut Curl Shampoo and Conditioner. Yes, that stands out to me because it, it I do really like that and I would purchase it. But um, 
for these like I like them uh, it's not that I don't like them that um, I'm not gonna repurchase them because I don't like them I, I think they're nice I like them but they're just not a big wow factor if that makes sense this here my husband and I got in TJ Maxx you know TJ Maxx is a great place that you can find some really nice gems and this is one called droplet revitalizing raw coconut and vanilla it's a vivid hydrating hand cream there's no parabens no sulfates no animal testing replenishing moisture for dry hands oh, this I droplet I never even heard of this company I guess that's the name of the company this is a really really good hand cream and it does it has a coconut scent I think I do love a lot of coconut scents obviously if you're somebody that don't like coconut scent um yeah you won't like this but the coconut and vanilla this yeah if you go to your TJ Maxx and see droplet I would I would say pick it up especially now we're gonna be getting into fall and winter and all the colder months and you know how our hands can play some havoc this is a really good hand cream I mean it has to be a hand cream that really tops it for me to really actually like a hand cream I mean there's hand creams that you know like I think okay they're not bad but yeah this if I see it TJ Maxx I would repurchase another one because yeah it's really good then the age perfect cell renewal night cream I had this little jar here and I used it on and off and everything and um it has a nice scent it is a really nice scent to the cream the night cream let's see if I can get out it's kind of a thick texture that's it right there it's kind of a thick texture but it melts um it's almost like a bomb like it melts melts right into your skin and yeah it, it quenches like and your skin drinks it up kind of a thing and everything I think it's a pretty good night cream in drugstore like I felt some firmness or something from it and the hydration from it and everything I think it's a really good one to look into so sometimes when I'm on a budget I'll grab these kind of uh, moisturizers or creams like if I'm on a budget for the month and I need a nighttime moisturizer or something like that and I can't get maybe the ones that I love or would like to get um, sometimes I get these kind here that's you know like L'Oreal course Mario Badescu or any of those kind of things this I think is one to look into for a night cream this I am I'm glad because I have heard some people say they don't like it or they didn't see anything with it um I don't know if I'm fully seeing much with it for except uh, maybe some glowiness of course and maybe um the hydration part I probably only used it probably for about a week and a half about a week and a half now I'd say on a steady kind of a thing because I try to rotate I'm trying out different things and it's the I guess I should tell you I'm saying all this stuff it's the pure argon milk from Josie Marin I got from her um, DSV it's the intensive hydrating treatment it is very nice if you need hydration yeah it's really nice it's like a milky um, moisturizer or treatment it is it it you know it does sink up into your skin it I don't even think it has any kind of smell to it I don't notice any kind of smell um, but you can see like if you see my hand here compared to this hand you see a little more glowiness or more you know um, I've been using it at night today I did use it during the daytime because I felt like I needed a little something and then I top it off with argan oil because she said to do this and the argan oil so I would say my skin feels a little more hydrated and I do notice maybe some glow but I don't know if I'm noticing any major major things but we're still playing with it but I do like it so that's why I'm going to put it in here I mean I'm happy to say I do like it so we will see for a perfume I've been using for a scent right now and I actually have it on now it's my all and oldie but goodie amazing grace this is a really nice scent if you're somebody that doesn't want something strong or a slap in the face as I would say if you don't want something like that and you want something more soft and gentle this would be one of the ones to go to any of the philosophy scents I feel are really worth it and this one here it's oh, it just smells wonderful I love this so amazing grace is my scent that I've been wearing a lot okay a few makeup things and pretty much will be done 
a uh, couple blushes here, which funny enough, I actually mentioned Motives lipstick in Ruby. Um, I've been using a lot. This is one of their blushes, Motive blushes in Eclipse. Um, probably should show you this way here. It's an Eclipse. And I really, really like this color of blush. It is such a pretty shade. And it has a sheen to it as well. Oh, this is so pretty. But there it is there. That's Eclipse. I kind of did a little heavy swatch, so it's not going to be that intense. But it is a nice pigmentation of it. So that's Eclipse. Another blush. I'm kind of neutral kind of with lips and blushes lately. Neutral kind of thing going on. But this is a Tarte blush, blush in Dazzled. I don't even know if da Dazzled exists anymore. So now they've changed a lot of their shades now or gotten rid of some. Um, but again, it's like another neutral shade. I must be into the neutrally whatever lately. This one is a little more of a different color. Um, you'll see. The other one looks more pink. This has more peach tone nude into it. The other one's more pink. So this one here is Dazzled. Love that. And then for highlighter, I do use the blush in here, but I haven't used it. Well, no, take that back. I used it today, actually. But for highlighter, my go-to has been Mally's in her. She has a blush highlight palette. This one, I think, is in pink. I have the pink one. I have the peach and the pink. And the highlight here, oh my goodness, or effortless, effortless highlighter. <sighs> It is beautiful. I think it is a really pretty highlight right there. It is. And that's kind of what I have on my cheeks today. And full on, I put like a powder foundation on today. So, but that is just gorgeous highlight. And then for lips, yep, nude. I have this on and then another item on top of it. I was going to leave just this on. And I don't know why I didn't, but. Oh, I'll t I, I don't know, but this is um, Rimmel, or this is one of Rimmel's uh, Kate Moss lipsticks. This is in her nude collection. She has a nude collection out. This is number 45. And here's the shade here. This is what it looks like. Right there's the shade. It's really pretty. That's probably my favorite one out of the whole collection. There's another one I had on earlier or tried. I'm not really big into it. It's a pink shade, the other one, but I like this one better, number 45. So if you want a nice brownie nude, number 45 in the Kate Moss Rimmel Nudes. And lastly, I love this lip gloss. You can probably hear my granddaughter in the background. Uh, this is the Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss. And uh, this shade is in, what is it again? CEO. You probably, I, I don't know if you're going to see that or not. Probably not. But it's in CEO. The Lorac glosses are probably one of my favorite glosses. I have several that are kind of my favorites. These are not really sticky at all. I mean, they're very pigmented, I feel, for a lip gloss, for starters. I mean, like right there it is, you know. Uh, that's the shade. And I am wearing both that lip lipstick and lip gloss on my lips today. That is what I'm wearing. And I like the Doe Foot Applicator. It's that kind of tipped, pointed, tipped kind of one. And yeah, this has a nice vanilla, vanilla scent to it like a lot of them do. The lip glosses from Lorac, I want to get some more because I really like them because they are very pigmented and, and they aren't really a sticky lip gloss. So not that I mind sticky lip glosses, but I do prefer like these kind a little more better. So, all right, guys, that is it. That is everything I have this, this week for my likes and not likes. So please go and check out Yolanda. But her, her sh channel is called Bombshell Beauty. I will have the link down below to her video. Please go check her out. And like I said, show her some love. Maybe subscribe if you like and everything. Give her a thumbs up and all that stuff. Um, I think you guys will really like her a lot. So thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so much. And I appreciate that a lot. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, 
Um, I would love to have you. You can join me each week, every Wednesday at least, have my what I'm liking and not so much. And then I have some other videos here and there that pop up. So go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and you can join me each week. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you. Mwah. Bye. What's going on with this floppiness of the hair?